Hello everyone, and I'm here with the Back Rooms game. This is probably really random. In fact, it is really random. If anyone's wondering why I'm doing this, uh, let's see, so my options sound, seem good. How do I start? Confirm settings. There we go. Um, I had someone who was curious about this game, and uh, I had streamed it. I streamed a bunch of horror games, which I'll probably be uploading soon. I've just been trying to decide how I want to go about that, and I've been a little lazy with cutting. I kind of want to cut them into separate videos, because it was like six different games in one stream. Um, but this game, ooh, spooky. Cannot exit through the entrance. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Um, but I, uh, I tried this game, and I did not try it for very long, but I, I had someone after the stream who said it was interesting, they wanted to see more of it, but, well, they wanted to see it in the first place, and I thought about it, and I was like, well, I streamed it for, like, six minutes, like, this is the first game, and I just kind of threw it under the bus, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say unfairly, but I, I want to give it at least a fair shot, I'm gonna try and give the game three, at least three legit runs, I'm gonna, or, um, also I'm gonna try and, here, I'm gonna try and do at least three runs, and I'm gonna try and do at least 20 minutes of video, uh, if I check both of those off, I'll probably end there, I don't know, I'm, I don't have, I don't know how likely I am to beat this, uh, so I do, I'm not putting that on a need-to-do box, um, <laughs> the, basically you run around this ugly-looking hotel and there's a monster, oh, you're also supposed to check your watch every 30 minutes, I've been forgetting to do that, oops, but there's a spooky monster, and, uh, did I, yeah, I went down a dead end, and if you look at it, you die, and that's pretty much the game, is you run around this ugly hotel room, and it's randomly generated. Uh, there's also exits that can spawn, the exits are also randomly generated, and that's part of why I'm like, I don't think I'll beat this, because apparently, uh, I, and I mean, I don't have a reason to believe it, one of the comments was like, I played this game for an hour and couldn't find an exit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't think... Like, I mean, if I don't die within an hour's time, maybe I'll run around and just ramble for an hour. But, you know, I ideally um, probably won't be at this game that long. Also, it has a watch mechanic, which is... I don't know how I feel about it. Every 30 seconds, you're supposed to check your watch and press E to remember where you've been. And the only thing that really... Remember who you are and where you've been is what the text says specifically. And I guess that's like... It... Um... Uh, fights off the distortions or whatever it's something related to the the thing i don't really know or care that much <laughs> like i'll keep doing it uh but it like as far as i'm concerned it's not a very it's not that interesting of a mechanic. It's just like every once in a while you hit, you bring up your watch and then you you smash the button and then you just keep on running. And this is pretty much the game. You can kind of see why, like, I mean, I guess the, the sound, if I'm going to be honest, I think the issue I have is actually more the visuals. The audio isn't bad. I was actually a little creeped out on stream. But the ugly wallpaper, like, I think the idea is you're supposed to feel like you're running, you're really running around a, like, cheap, crappy hotel, right? And, like, that's why it's scary? I, I don't know. I don't feel like the environment really s spooks me. <laughs> Not that I need my environment to be darker, but it, it, like, it's this weird mix of, it's not, it's not bright and nice enough to be actually cheerful to make, you know, the spooks, like, re more impactful, 
but it's also not dark and brooding enough to be spooky. It's just like an awkward in-between for me. Where I'm like... I mean, I don't think I'd want to be in this location. It doesn't look like a pleasant place to be, but it's also not like something that natural. I- I'm not scared of being alone at cheap, crappy-looking hotels. Uh, maybe, maybe I would be. Honestly, maybe in real life this would be more scary if I was alone in a cheap- Oh no, there was a thing. If I was alone in a cheap, crappy-looking hotel, but... I don't know. Also, I guess just the whole, like... I guess you're not supposed to look at the monster is one way to be kind of scary, but on the other hand, I usually don't overly like that kind of idea. I mean, it makes the game more scary, but it also means your interactions with the monster well, monster are pretty limited, as in, like, the best way to deal with the monster is by interacting with it as little as possible. I didn't like some of the effects, though. I will say there's, like, not everything about the game is negative. Uh, like, I like the floor shifty effect that sometimes happens. I think that's pretty good. The fact that some of the lights break, uh, has spooked me on stream. So, it, it's not all around a terrible game, and it is a free game. I will say, it is a free game. So, well, the actual, like... Um, the game itself is simplistic, and not something that overly spooked me, um, you know, it's not like I feel bad for trying it, and I'm not mad that people made this game, and, cause, yeah, I mean, you know, um, it, it, it's something that it's fine that it exists, and it's cool that the people who made it are, like, just, oh, shit, oh, no, did I die? I'm not sure. I think I'm fine. I guess I didn't look at him for long enough to die. I don't quite know how that works. Like, I know it intensifies your scroll. Like, last time I saw him, even for a moment, like, I just fucking died mm -hmm. on, on stream. Which is why I streamed it for like six minutes. Because I, I got a... About the, I got not as far as this, he popped out, I instantly died, and I was, and the death did not impress me, and I was like, well, that's this game. <laughs> this time I'm actually getting chased by the monster, though, and sort of instantly fucking dying, so that's actually a little spookier, I like that. I guess this mechanic is just supposed to force you to, to stop, uh, so you're like not able to just constantly run from the monster. You know, sometimes you have to, to stop and activate your thing. But I don't know if I really like that. I don't think I'm I've been I'm quite the kind of person who who likes like distraction mechanics. Like that's something I don't I mean, that is part of the reason I don't think I could play, like, uh, I have not played very many of the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's games. The trying to multitask everything sounds really annoying, especially when it comes to things like the music box, I'm like, no thank you. <laughs> that sounds like a pain in the ass. Oh no, that's getting spookier. Oh no. I'm gonna die. I didn't even see you. Well, I saw you once. I guess I can't. I guess I can't say I outright didn't see you. And I don't know if seeing the uh, tentacles count as seeing him or not, to be fair. Uh, I like this, though. It, it's getting better. It's getting more interesting the farther I get. I will give the game that much. The distortion effects, the more constant breaking, the sounds. It's becoming a more reasonable horror game. Like, honestly, if I was playing this on my own, maybe I'd be a little more, like, spooked by it. Uh, 
I'm actually, I'm starting to really like the effects. I just wish there was... I, ge I guess now that I'm getting into it, even maybe the watching, maybe this game isn't so bad. I think it has some pretty decent ideas for a free game. So, you know, maybe it was worth spending a little bit of extra time on. <laughs> I will say these distortion effects make it really hard to m see what I'm doing completely, but I, that's kind of why they're cool. It's kind of why I appreciate them. Because the gameplay gets, like, really stale. Oh, shit. Really fast. So... Making the game harder just by the sheer fact that I can't accurately see what I'm doing is kind of nice. And with the fa oh shoot, I think I saw the monster. Ooh. Did I die? No clipping beneath the back rooms. I, di I think I died. <laughs> oh, checking your watch too often increases madness. That's interesting. I didn't actually know that. Okay, so you you have to be pretty precise on the timing. I also didn't expect a mini game for getting out of there, but I did see I did find an exit. I'm not a big fan of that minigame though to be honest uh also that uh mono yellow madness feels like home that whole uh clipping through the floor thing is part of why i stopped streaming it like it made me laugh the first time it's kind of funny <laughs> but it's not very horrifying it's kind of weird I, I guess maybe that's the thing. Maybe this is, like, supposed to be kind of a joke game. Like, maybe that's why you're running around a cheap-ass hotel, uh, with shit wallpapers. But, I don't know. <laughs> e ending a horror game with you fall through the- f you clip through the floor is really fucking weird. Though apparently this game is based off a of creepypasta, so I guess that has something to do with the creepypasta. Uh, I also have realized a little something, which is that I can technically cheat, uh, because I'm streaming the game. Not sorry, I'm recording the game. Streaming the game, I couldn't cheat as easily. I guess I could've, but I don't always have my stream timer open. Now that I'm recording the game like i can't actually close <laughs> my recording timer like it just naturally shows up on my video because you know you don't want to record for like hours i will say if i beat the game i'm not going to do another run after that i don't think i i'm gonna have that much luck but if i do end up having that much luck i'll be now that I've realized that I can kind of cheat and increase my madness less rapidly, uh, you know, there's that. I gotta see, maybe, maybe I should, uh, uh, okay, if I do beat the game, I'll say this. I'll see what happens if you don't check your watch every, like, 30 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> These dead ends are gonna kill me. Oh no, they're spooky. Because I'm not, I'm not really sure what not checking your watch does. I just know that something the in-game informs you, informs you is a mechanic of checking your watch and remembering who you are. But for all I know, that doesn't mean anything. Like, I assume it does, though. I assume if you don't check your watch within a certain period of time, you die. Or you start losing sanity or something. Maybe you die in a way that's more interesting than clipping through the floor. I guess that is something I'm not especially aware of, is if there is another death in this game that does not involve clipping through the floor. Either way, hopefully it's not too bad of a game to watch a recording of. It's kind of like... 
Like, here it's kind of boring. I feel like I could even tell a story. I guess I should have uh, thought that out before I started streaming, but I don't know. Uh, well, I can say, actually, something I did mean to say, and I can say, sorry that it's been a, wh a while for anyone who has made it this far into the video. I know that I haven't been doing videos all that often recently. Uh, life has been kind of tough. And it's been, oh no, the spooky monster guy. It's been a little bit on the stressful side. Uh, I have to move, and um, that's, uh, <laughs> I kind of like, I don't know. Mm. I, I won't say I was settling in well here. If anything, that's kind of why it's frustrating, because I... I moved from Arizona and realized I didn't like where I went and um, I kind of missed a lot of things and uh, things here didn't really work out including with the people I moved in with which kind of, you know, it sucks like... It sucks when you distance yourself from, you know, the friends who you thought you could count on most. So, that's, that's, that's dumb. <laughs> that's no good, and so I'm moving again, um, and, you know, it's, it's been getting to me. I'm just really nervous with the move, with, you know, new, with all the new changes. I, I can't... Did I find... Holy shit. I don't believe the person who is like, It took me... Like... An hour... Uh... Did I do it? Did I... Did I win? You exited alive! Woo! Okay, so that's what happened. The game just ends when you win. <laughs> so apparently, like, uh, I'm guessing, maybe that's what checking your watch does, is, like, help spawn exits, or maybe I got really lucky. Uh, let's see. Let's play again, and this time I'm just, uh, jumping where two walls met. Can I jump in this? I can't jump in this game. I don't know what that means. Or maybe that- I know this game is based off a of creepypasta. Maybe that has something to do with that. Anyway, so this time, no watch checking. Uh, I might even try running into the monster intentionally if I see it. Just because, like, I don't know what causes the clipping through the floor. I don't know if that's, like too much insanity or if that is the monster like i, I want to find out a little more about this game especially because i i beat it which i mean hey um i didn't even think i would beat this game and i beat it second try third if you count the stream but you know who cares about that <laughs> so i don't feel too bad about that i think i did pretty solid of a job Oh, also, uh, maybe, maybe I'll do it a fourth try. I want to, since it said ra checking your watch constantly raises insanity, I want to just spam that. I want to see what happens if I fucking jam the, the check watch button. If that, like, immediately makes my guy flip his shit, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Or maybe there's a limitation on how much checking your watch can flip you out. Anyways, but yeah, that was, uh, the, the thing that I was saying, oh, that's just mostly that. I, hopefully, everything will be fine, but, uh, you know, it's, it's all been kind of spooky. I, I don't know where my life is, I don't know, I don't know where my real life is currently going, and that's always a big, like, hey, I wanted to hang out with the tentacles. Heard a, a banging. Is anyone there? <laughs> Could I, uh, can I answer? Hi. Ah, it's just gonna clip me through the floor, isn't it? Gonna clip me through the floor? Everything's really dark now. 
Yeah. I don't get it. I, I and that's just so. Well, I don't want to manage madness. Like, and the music too! It seems like such a... Like, it seems like a meme. It feels like the game's memeing at me. Which I guess, uh, for creepypasta, maybe I should expect. Most of the best creepypastas are the ones that try to be funny. I haven't read a lot of actually good creepypastas. Aw, uh, yeah. Watch action activate! Okay. Anything, any, am I spooked? Am I spooked? Look, it's your watch. Look at how spooky your watch is, you stupid fuck. Ah, uh, yeah, there's uh, already some static happening. I think that is, in fact, indicating that I am losing my shit. Hey, I heard a, a kid. Kids are spooky. Nobody, nobody likes children. It's a, it's a fact video games have taught me. Because, because children are really spooky. Especially dead ones. I'm, I'm Victor, obviously. Yeah, get flipped out. Watch, watch horror activate. I find it really funny that it your guy out so much. I've never played a game where I can just, like, look at my watch to- Oh no! Okay, that killed me. I guess too much- too much- like you fucking had a heart attack or something. Too much watch action. Too much watch action will kill you. Okay, so... Oh, all the deaths are the same. Dying from insanity, dying from seeing the monster. I don't think you can even touch the monster. I think just, um... Yeah, so that, that is, um, the Backrooms game. It is, uh, <laughs> it's something, I don't know. I'm not sure. It has, it has a decent atmosphere, and for a free game, it's not bad, but I just, like, the mechanics are kind of silly, like the dying is more funny than spooky, clipping through floors is just always funny to me, like, I don't know, can I really, s I, I don't think the idea of clipping into the ground really ever spooked me, cause I'm like, what does that mean to clip, I guess you'd probably die if you clipped in the ground IRL, but I, I just, so wait, that just isn't a thing. I don't know. Um, anyways. And, and I mean, it sounds more weird than great, but I, I mean, than, than spooky, I guess. But either way, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed it despite my, like, not amazing, uh, kind of vague life talk. And, um,. The fact that I kind of just floundered around. <laughs> um, there we are, the Backrooms game. Hope to see you all next time.